I slept with my daughter's ex-boyfriend. He got me pregnant and I had an abortion. They got back together and got married. Uh, hell no. Yeah, no, bitch. You're gonna go to the hell. It's under hell. Hi everyone, I'm Nick. I do Satan's paperwork. We get about a thousand judgments a day. And my job is to sift through all of them, see who's coming down here and who's not. Yeah, this is a very, this is a very Stacy's mom has got it going on situation. This is, this is good because when they get into an argument, he could just be like, I fucked your mom. Hmm. Once a year, I book a lodge out in the middle of nowhere and take LSD despite having schizophrenia. Yeah, every now and then we get one of these where it's like a little white lie or they do something that only really affects them and nobody else. And it's like, this is, this is boring. Where is the rape? I run a fake restaurant uh, on a delivery app. Okay, you're not, you're not, you're not going to hell, but karma wise, we're probably gonna hook you up with maybe like a car accident, maybe a home invasion, scare you a little bit, put you on the right path. Um, we're sending over our best drunk driver as we speak. He'll be with you shortly. What's funny is this, this guy lives in the UK, but this is the most American thing I've ever heard in my life. I lied to my best friend to get off the phone, not knowing he was writing a suicide note and just wanted one last chat. <laughs> oh shit, I'll see you soon, buddy. I guarantee after he hung up the phone, he tweeted about how important it is to check up on your friends. He was like, oh yeah, I just had a long talk with my friend. And you know, he said some heartfelt things. It's very important that you need to look in on your friends because you never know what they could be going through. Yeah, when you kill yourself, you immediately end up down here. So I was talking to your friend actually. He said when you get here, he was going to smack the shit out of you. I'm purposely trying to not get my wife pregnant. What is it, Saved by the Bell? What kind of fucking sitcom shit is this? Dude, nobody likes kids. Nobody likes children. God kicked all of his kids out. And one of them is here right now. And I don't know if you read the books, but he's, he's really not happy about that. Purposefully. He, that's the, what they wrote it. Purposely? Yeah, I know, I know, I know. You may be going to hell for bad grammar. But... Hold on a second, hold on a second, Lucifer's yelling at me. Yeah, he's mad at me because I keep sending Michael Jackson to heaven. <laughs>